What's Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snums. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I have a little mini review of a whole bunch of products which previously came out and they're now just being re-released. Since I had never collected these, I decided to go ahead and splurge on them since they were at retail prices and I had a coupon from my local comic shop. So I bought these at a comic shop and I wanted to unbox them for you today. So I have all five of the inner senshi of these cute little figures. These are the girls' memories figures of Sailor Moon, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Mercury. So the inner Sailor senshi. However, this line did go on to continue all of the Outer Senshi as well as Chibi Moon. So hopefully they re-release all of the ones in the line because I don't want to spend a bunch of money on these. They should be around $20 to $25 each uh, at retail. So, and hopefully all of them get re-released because that's all I want to spend on these. These are not the same kind of figures that you see in the Figure Arts Zero lines or the Choet lines. These are not as detailed. However, they are still looking really good. Um, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and grab them for myself. So the merchandise retailer of these is Ben Presto. However, you should find Toei animation stickers on them too um, and all of these do have the stickers on them I already checked if you hear noises that's my cat she's scraping at the door she wants to come in but I know if she comes in she will probably break something because there's some glass items on the floor so I don't want her in here today so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Sailor Moon this is her box it is pink it features the figure on the front. Ta-da! It's so beautiful. On the top of the box, you'll see the Silver Millennium Palace printed up there. Both of the sides say Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, and they have this really cool, it's not actual glitter, it's printed on there, but you got that really nice detailing around the edges. And then the back just has a whole bunch of like warning labels on it, like don't eat this figure, and so on and so forth. Here is the Sailor Mercury Girls Memories. Uh, figure. She's really pretty. I love her stance on this because she looks very much like she does in the anime and it's the same exact kind of printing on both sides and you still have that silver millennium palace up there at the top too. Then we have Sailor Mars. Pretty much the same thing with her box. It is red in this case. Then we have Sailor Jupiter and Jupiter's looking awesome right there as usual. And lastly we have Sailor Venus and Sailor Venus looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all of these figures and then I will show you what they look like in person. Okay, I finished unboxing them. So here we have all five of the Sailor Senshi Girls Memories figures together in all of their glory. So I'll go through each of them. First we have Sailor Moon right here in her cute little formation. She has a light pink colored uh, display stand. And the character herself, you can tell that she's definitely not like up to par with the Figure Arts Zero line of figures, but she still looks really good. Like her face is painted really well. She has a metallic tiara. So there are some really cute details. I will mention though, it was a pain in the butt to get her buns into her head because these pieces are separate. I kind of had to like bang them in there to actually get them to sit because they weren't cut correctly as far as how you, how you put them inside her head. Uh, so that was kind of annoying, but otherwise I think she looks really good. Her uniform's a little too dark, I think. Like the navy blue, it looks almost too blue. I feel like it should be a lighter blue color. Then we have Mercury. Um, Mercury's stand is kind of a teal color, almost like a Sailor Neptune color, which is a little interesting. Uh, her bow needs some buffing because it's not looking too great. And she does have a little scuff in the middle of her stomach, but otherwise she looks pretty good. Very cute. Sailor Mars also has a little spot in the middle of her stomach and she does have a little spot of paint at the very edge of that bow. However, her face looks really good. I think it's one of the better painted ones so it looks really nice and everything else about her looks fairly decent so I'm pretty happy with her. Then we have Sailor Jupiter. Uh, both of her arms were separated so I had to stick those inside of her and her shoulders I guess you could say uh, so that they could actually sit there and be stationary. Uh, she looks pretty good too. There's a little bit of green paint on her legs so it looks like whoever was painting this kind of missed a few spots you know what I'm saying and her stand is like a lime green color instead of like the color of her skirt 
interesting. Lastly, we have Sailor Venus, of course, and her hand also came separated, so you had to stick that in there. Uh, Venus looks probably the best out of the bunch, other than Sailor Moon. I don't see any kind of paint flaws on this figure herself, so she's looking really good. I don't know who did this one, but I wish they did the rest of them too. <laughs> so that is the girls' memories figures. So as I mentioned before, you can definitely tell that these are $25 of value as opposed to the figure arts ones, which are like $50 to $100, depending on where you buy them from. So you can tell that they did not spend as much time manufacturing and painting these ones as they do with the ones that are sitting right behind me. So let me know what you think of these, if you think that they are worth collecting anyways. I definitely think that this is a really great bargain for people because it's it's in a lot more people's budget to purchase these ones as opposed to the more expensive models back there. So it's definitely something that I think you should consider if you're looking to buy Sailor Moon figures. Comment below if you have any questions about the girls' memories figures as far as like where you can find them or if you should be searching for them in any specific places. And don't don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Again, I am Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Johnny.